Oh my gosh, guys. Ben and I just had the worst night. And this is how it all started. Oh my gosh. I tried to set the camera up outside for you all so you could see exactly how windy it was, but the camera blew over and then I ended up holding the camera upright so the wind wouldn't knock it over again and then it blew a bunch of stuff all into the lens to the point where it wouldn't even open and close. So after like beating on the side of it repetitively for probably for an hour or more, we finally have it where it's opening and closing, but it just sounds like something nasty is grinding in there. So hopefully nothing's too messed up on it. But yeah, it was a wild night last night. Not much sleep happened whatsoever. At one point the wind kind of died down like right after the sun went down I was like oh I'm gonna put the drone up and then immediately after I put it up it starts getting blown all over the place. So I was like oh I'm gonna put it back down that way I don't lose it because I have lost a drone to the wind before which is quite the unfortunate circumstance to be in. First meal in the van. Actually, first meal with our new oven. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Um, our oven just went out. It's not lighting. The back one lit and then it's out. And I don't hear the propane turning on. Pro propane's not coming on. Shoot. <laughs> Now what? I don't we know. We have propane. We don't have any service to look it up either. We just got back into service and we're trying to come up with a game plan to fix our propane or oven, see if we have to go to Camping World or what. What are you thinking? Uh, Camping World and Albuquerque is like four hours away or we can go to the one in Colorado Springs which is like seven and a half hours away. But I was just reading online this article was saying that if your gas valves are messed up and you're at a higher elevation, which yesterday we were at like 8,000 feet, but it says you can take a lighter and heat up the valve on the back side of your burner and that might free it up so we should probably give that a go before we do anything else. Oh you can hear it. <laughs> nice. We can cook, thank God. Oh my gosh, I was really dreading going to Camping World, driving all those hours out of the way. And I'm very thankful that Ben actually read on the internet this little bitty hack and we're able to be successful. <laughs> I really thought our oven was screwed up. Like after our first oven incident, I was like, yep, this oven is toast. Like it would work at Camping World when they install it and then not work the second time. But yeah, super pumped on that because after last night's night of no sleep because of the wind this would have been a heck of a way to start our trip off. Jillian's enjoying a nice warm shower but one little problem we've got some leak action coming out right here and also right here looks like we need some caulk to fix that up. So much water comes out of such a tiny little hole. Holy cow. Apparently like four days ago, I misplaced my wallet, but I didn't realize it until today. So Jelaine and I are about to tear the van apart because sometimes I hide things in tricky places and I really just end up hiding them for myself. So. We just luck on this because I have two credit cards, cash, health insurance card, gift cards, all kinds of goodies in there. ID. <laughs> ah, and my ID, yes, that's that's very true. And I looked up online like my last um the last thing I charged was in Moab, which we haven't been in Moab for a while now, but luckily no one else has 
found my wallet and used my credit card, or if they did find it, they just spent the cash or whatever, which is also okay. But yeah, so we're about to get to it and hopefully I just misplaced it and didn't lose it. And if you were thinking we need to do laundry, you're right, we do. We had no luck finding the wallet after turning this van inside out. So we have decided to drive back to the two campsites that we have stayed previously in between of where we were at at Moab and here to see if we could locate the wallets there on accident. Maybe it fell out of a pocket. It was on a counter and somehow got pushed. And when we opened the sliding door, maybe it fell out and fingers crossed that it's still there at one of the campsites. Um, but we're backtracking about three hours. So fingers crossed. campsites we actually stopped at the Capitol Reef Visitor Center for a long shot of maybe someone had turned it in maybe we lost it on the trail that we were on inside that park but no one's turned anything in but a good plus we got to purge all of our recycling at least our aluminum and our plastic so that's a plus we're back at the first campsite looking for my wallet really hoping we find it kind of has me on edge being like so far away from home and not having any access to money. Well, have Delane. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, not having my driver's license or anything like that, so. Better not piss me off. <laughs> really, really hoping we find it. Well, didn't find my wallet, but I did find this drone filter that was in my pocket that fell out too. So hopefully we're onto something. We just left our first campsite with no luck finding the wallet. Fortunately, we did get to enjoy another sunset there. Was a little lazy this morning and didn't feel like waking up for sunrise. I set my alarm and everything and just opted not to get out of bed. But we are headed to the second campsite and it's way the heck down this super bumpy road. We we're really hoping we were going to find it at the first one because it's not quite as taxing on us or the van to drive down. We have to go down a super washboarded road for about two hours in one direction. Hopefully the wallet's there, otherwise <laughs> we'll put ourselves through pain and misery for no apparent reason. Work hard, get dough. I can't get no sleep, please make my life more simple. Unfortunately, the wallet wasn't at the campsite like we were hoping. There is a couple of other spots that we could check. So we're going to head down the road even further to where we went hiking a little bit the night before we were camping. And then if it's not there, there's one other spot that it might be, but both of these spots are pretty unlikely that they would be there because there's a pretty high traffic rates. So I guess best case, maybe someone finds my wallet and they ship it back to North Carolina for us. Well, after over seven hours of backtracking and searching for the wallet, we had no luck, but we did find this super cool campsite. Thanks for tuning in to today's video and we'll see you all next week.